On 2K Sports, in this one, you'll see the Philadelphia 76ers against the New York Knicks here in New York. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at New York, they're moving on up. Fourth spot in the rankings this time around. And right now for the 76ers, they've sure made a statement here early on, outpacing some teams that were expected to be better, owning that top spot and defending it with pride. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is a champion, but he said, growing up, I never thought about titles. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. When I got to the league, I was listening to all the noise, and it was taking control of my mind. For me, mentally, I have to just focus on my craft. Guys, the results have flown since then. Clearly. David, thank you. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Durant is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Maxie. And it's Harden in at the one. And for the Knicks... Barrett is out there with Williamson. Then there's Irving. Then it's Mitchell Robinson. And it's quickly in at the shooting guard. Now, here's Barrett. Robinson sets a screen for Barrett. And the rejection by Embiid. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. On defense, the 76ers quickly finds Irving. Shot clock at six. Latrey and MB pulls it down. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Philadelphia. For three. Maxi, no good. Here's New York. Here's Barrett. Passed it quickly. Let's a floater go, and it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. So for Philadelphia, their last game, a win against the Thunder. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game, great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Now, quickly, James Harden missing on the three. To the inside, here's Irving. Knocks it down from seven feet. Irving's got the first basket of the game for the Knicks. I think he's the most creative finisher in the league. Irving's so good at finding holes in the defense. And there's the pass to Durant. The offensive rebound. Tries again. No good on the left. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Embiid with it. Robinson picks him up. Over Irvin. Here's Harden. Back to KD. Philadelphia moving the ball around. The 76ers with another miss. For New York, they've gone just 1-4 to get this game started. Here's Irving. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone more confident than Embiid. He's got plenty of confidence, and he's a funny guy, too. Extremely entertaining. He said, the mindset I get when I'm on the floor is that I'm the best player in the gym. And much of the time, he ain't wrong. Now here's Durant. 33 points last game. In the corner, it's Gordon. Passes it to Durant. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. Irving. That's his first foul. First team foul. Oh. 
And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. They get it again. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Embiid right there to get the rebound and put it right back up. Excellent anticipation. Now Irving. His last outing, 16 points for him. And the rejection by Embiid. And he recovers it. Irving's shot is good. 76ers have gone just two of eight shooting so far, just 25%. Uh, Harden the pass to Durant. Back to Harden. The putback. It's good on the putback. No surprise seeing Embiid rise up like that. Fantastic at getting around the defense on the offensive glass there. Irving dishes to Williamson. Back to Irving. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, here's Williamson and the dunk by Williamson. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Maxi. Three pointer does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. And here we go. Hard Not watching the line there. That'll be a backboard violation. And a new group in for the Knicks. Noel's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Burks comes in for Barrett. Radish, he's checked in for quickly. And it's Kimba Walker in for Kyrie Irving. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Joel Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Kevin Durant. George Niang, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Maxi. Scooped up. Kicks it out to Williamson. Goes back up. And he sinks the layup. Zion Williamson. Williamson's got his second basket of the game. Well, there's nothing like being unselfish as a player, and Noel was outstanding in that regard. Reading the entire floor and finding his guys for high percentage shots. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. The Knicks with the lead. Berg finds Williamson. Shoots over Tucker. Boy, this is where Tucker really makes his hate. I mean, able to defend on ball as well as in help situation. Niang, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pass to Noel. Back to Walker. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Walker, Walker's afraid of getting into the paint and going for it. I mean, he's fairly clever for a little guy down there. Goes up to the stripe. And it's Noel with the rebound. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Walker's shot is off. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's and now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. Russell he knows Westbrook. he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. The first one falls. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play and every game. Uh, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. Here's Williamson. Drops in the layup for two. Williamson got six. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Who wants a free t-shirt? Make some noise. Your next city dancer. And steals. Second and block. And they were third in our league in terms of fast break points. This is a team that plays one speed, and that's full speed. And last season, everything started with their defense. You mentioned their number one ranking in steals. The pressure they put on opponents was nonstop. The 76ers trail. Harden right side. Kicks it to Tucker. Puts up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. 
Tell you what, for a guy who's inconsistent from three, Tucker's showing you he can be scary out there at times for a defense. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. Your next city dancer. Check out the stats for Noel. Last season's performance for him. Last season put up about five points a game. Just over two blocks and six rebounds. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench. And, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game's momentum can be going one way, then bam. The scoring turns the tide. Now, here is Harden following the shot by Alec Burks. They get it back. A nice shot by Jordan. Well, you know, a big part of offensive rebounding is really relentless effort and high energy, and Jordan knows all about that. Here's Williamson. Rebound by the 76ers. It's Jordan on the wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Goes back up. The shot's good from Jordan. Wait, Jordan. Jordan's got his second bucket tonight. Offense in the paint is what his coaching staff is looking for from Jordan. And Walker's got the ball here for the Knicks. It's a five-point game. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year. And in this matchup, last season, not one of the games went their way. And guys, they suffered a clean sweep. And for one of the best teams in the league, that cannot sit well. You know they'll come to play tonight. Now, here's Walker. His last outing, 16 points for him. And the defense not making things easy for them. Yeah, they're having a hard time getting the ball in the basket. And as a result, yeah, falling behind here. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Loads it up for Williamson. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but actual defense and anticipation there to stop. And so the first quarter is in the books. 76ers ahead as they end the first quarter with a 13 to 4 run. Let's take a quick break now and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Well, plenty of fire from but Kyrie Irving committed to digging in at the defensive end as well. You know, I wouldn't be able to do it without our bigs and our consistent effort from our wings as well helping me out. You know, I may not make the right play every time on the defensive end, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of covering for one another. And, uh, you know, I cover for my teammates as well as they cover for me. So, you know, that's just a tribute to our, uh, our team success on the defensive end. Now it's been a real focus, hasn't it, Greg, for them to tighten things up defensively. And it's a collective effort. So even the scorers have to be engaged and exert themselves in order to get stops. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. We've got Irving. Robinson is out there at Nerland's Noel. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's quickly in at the two. That's the five for New York right now. Now, here is Irving. Here's the teardrop. He is such a well-coordinated, fluid athlete for his side. Joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. Now the feed to Barrett. Embiid with the steal. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you Kevin for the Durant. baton, Kevin. Three Kyrie ball. Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, D.A. Thank you for that portrait. And the shot blocking skills of Noel are a staple of his game. Really one of the foundational pieces. He really takes a lot of pride in what he does on defense. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. 
Clark, you had excellent handles for a front court player. How much of a benefit is it for a big man to be comfortable with the dribble, with the ball in his hands? I think it's so valuable. And now it's a dozen to a dozen big guys can put it on the ground. I mean, it used to be two out of a dozen guys you'd see six, eight, or better that could really handle the ball in my day. But now it's uh, commonplace, and it's a valuable skill. My dad, my late dad, emphasized that from the time I started playing organized basketball. Make sure you can go with the ball where you want to against pressure. If you can do that, then you'll always add value to your team as a player. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Visiting team leads 22. Duran against Quickly. 18. The pass to Westbrook. And right away, they Russell match it with a three-pointer of their own. Westbrook's got the lead back up to seven now for the 76ers. Robinson a screen on Westbrook. Here's Irving. And there's another one for the Knicks. You know, getting up into Irving's grill only gives him additional intensity and focus. He lets you have it. 20. Durant for three. The shot, no good. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Quickly with it, he's picked up by KD. It's Barrett on the wing. Five to shoot. Noel a screen on Gordon. Barrett. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. Working on consistency with that jumper. You can see Barrett has improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Fourth, Kyrie Irving. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. On defense, the 76ers. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every Kevin spot break on the floor. From three, mid-range, the free throw line. When he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. That's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Westbrook finds Embiid. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they've had assists now for the last three baskets. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the 76ers. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. You know, they've also shown some real tenacity here early on tonight, and it's paid off with a lot of second chance points. On the free throw, no good. You know, I remember watching him beat in college. You know, he was hurt that one year he played in college, so he didn't see a lot of them. But his development has absolutely been incredible. He didn't just get better over the course of the season. A lot of times he'd improve over the course of a single game and even within a game. Or three, Westbrook. The 76ers again can't hit it. Here's Williamson. Westbrook with the block. Hey, the athleticism of Westbrook not only on display oh, offensively, he can throw shots out of there, too. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That'll be his second foul of the game. The 76ers making a switch here. Jordan's check in. Substitution, DeAndre Jordan. Next trail by eight. And Walker kicks to Reddish. Burks on the wing, guarded by Tucker, and the Knicks miss again. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And there's the foul. We'll go on P.J. Tucker. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. And the basket is good. That's an aspect of Walker's game that I like. I mean, his ability to use the dribble drive and score on the move, nice. Harden the pass to Niang. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. 
now just a three-point Philadelphia lead. Harden finds Westbrook. Philadelphia moving the ball. Here's the three. Harden's shot is good. James Harden. They knew this was coming. Harden three can't points. just let that last three go. Way too competitive for that. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end it's was not matched by their opponent. That led to some uh, easy right. buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Uh, once that happens, then you're in trouble. All right. But let's take a look at Alec Burks' number, how he performed last season. Averaged about 12 points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. And always nice to have a guy like him who can really defend at a high level coming off the bench. You know, when you can sub in a lockdown defender, that's a major plus. Now, here's Burks. And a wide open look for Walker. Good on the three point shot. Walker's got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes. They're allowed. From deep Harden. 31. Knicks with the rebound. They get to the take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. That'll be the first half of a two game trip. Burks pulls it in. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Philadelphia leading by three to the middle. Niang hey, kicks it to Tucker. Walker against Harden. Back to Tucker. Pass to Harden. Five on the clock. Or three, Westbrook. That one, no good. Now the Knicks with it. They're on an 11 to three run. And there's Williamson on the assist by Burks. That's now eight points for Zion Williamson. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Shoot from the right block. That will not drop. Still looking for his groove. He's one of six so far from the floor. Burks the pass to Williamson and again it's New York converting off the pass Williamson firing with conviction there and that's a scary sight for opponents and here's Harden for three and that one released in time but no good and that's it for the first half of action what's been a very close game here it's the Knicks leading by just one and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside David Thanks very much. Coach, this team is still developing. What do they need to do to really reach their max? Just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. Guys, projecting down the road toward the postseason, how important is it to lock up home court advantage come playoff time? It definitely helps, but it's not everything, Ernie. You know, we won a championship with the Houston Rockets when I was on that team. Six seed. Can you believe that? No home court advantage any round. Remember that, Shaq? I'm having static in my headphones. I'm having a hard time remembering that, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. And now looking at the first half performance from Zion Williamson, the energy he played with was downright incredible. Down low, he's been totally unleashed, crashing through guys, going over guys, finding his way to the bucket. This is how you bury your opponent with the high percentage looks. We'll see if this strategy holds up in the second half. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. 
absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half can to take a lot out of. And so in the game for the 76ers, we've got Durant, Axie out there with Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Gordon in at the three spot. Now here's Barrett. Six points for him. In the corner, Harden. Down low. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Harden's got four points in the quarter. Harden putting constant pressure on the defense, finishing down low. And Harden really looks like he's been having fun out there. I would agree with that, Kevin. And he says he's the same way off the court, too. I don't know him off the court, but he says he loves meeting new people. I don't have any trouble believing that. He enjoys engaging with kids. And certainly the bright tennis shoes are part of everybody's NBA attire now, but he wears it as an expression of his personality. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Williamson. New York, no good that time either. Pass to KD to the paint. Embiid's shot is good. Now it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Irving with the ball. He's picked up by KD. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. And when it comes to handling the rock, Irving is second to none. Greg could not agree with you more. He is special. Kevin Durant. The highest form of special. Great ball handling skills, finishing ability with both hands. I don't know if I've seen a better finisher under 6'3 in the history of the league. You might have somebody in mind, but nobody's been better than Kyrie Irving finishing and getting it done. And the Knicks with possession here. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. team. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Quickly with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Irving with a clean look. Buries the long-range jumper. Irving's got 11 points. Great from deep. I don't think Irvin has gotten enough credit for how lethal he is this from behind the arc. 46. 40. And checking out some numbers for Irvin. Coming off a terrific season. He put up about 27 points per game last season. Six assists and four rebounds. And he's very steady with that second unit. Running the offense and getting them into their sets. Right. I mean, your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort, maintain the status quo, share the basketball, and minimize mistakes. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And there is the call on Zion Williamson. That's his first that is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And, and this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And here's KD for three. Kevin it falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Your next city dancer. 
Reddish, he's checked in for the Knicks. Russell Westbrook in for Philadelphia. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Robinson passes to Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. We've seen those kinds of plays get them going in the past. Offensive rebound, MD. Some solid defense from Robinson. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And it's quickly in the corner. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Visiting team leads. A deep three from Durant. 47. Second chance effort. And Embiid lays it in. Embiid's got 10. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. The shot's good from Irving. Tell you what, I don't think there's been a single shot that Irving has won and didn't get so far. 53. 49. Out to the wing. No one near Westbrook as he lets Russell it go. Westbrook. Knocks down the three ball. Three point goal. Seven points in the game. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Hey, I don't know if it was changing baskets or what, guys, but they clearly look a lot better offensively. Irving dishes to Robinson. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Away team. His IQ is one of the best in the league. Irving has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Timeout, 76ers. The loudest and craziest fans get a free T-shirt. Let's see. Alec Brooks checked in for New York. Walker comes in for Kyrie Irving. Then for the 76ers, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Joel Embiid, and it's P.J. Tucker in for Durant. That was your Knicks City Dancer. Here's Westbrook. Basket good. Westbrook's got five points now this quarter. Two minutes. Westbrook has really honed his ball handling skills, so now he's able to create very well off the dribble. Walker against Westbrook. To get open is Robinson. Count it on the 76ers. Lee has been cut back down to five points in the make from Campbell Walker. 58. It's Westbrook with the drive. Here's Tucker. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Robinson sets a screen for Barrett. Can't hit from the elbow. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the 76ers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Robinson with the block. There at the pass to Robinson. Nice pass. Run over the rack perfectly for the layup. Robinson's got six points. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Westbrook finds Gordon. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Tough miss, especially since the defense wasn't that strong. I mean, he needs to cash in from there. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. And stolen by Jordan. Back to Tucker. Beyond the arc. They grab their own miss. Another shot. Jordan can't get it to go. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. I like the scrappiness of board low defense there. I mean, solid defender who stays right with his man. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. And we'll be right back after this.
And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists on, over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of you. It sure is. I mean, he's a nice Great vision. Terrific IQ. Everything you want in a point guard. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the court for the next show. They've got Robinson. From Kemba Walker is DJ out there with Tyler. Irving. Then there's Williamson. And it's Burks in at the small forward. Here's Irving after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Robinson kicks to Williamson. Just four to shoot. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Bede's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Harden outside. Back to Durant. And stolen by Williamson. Burks on the wing. The dish now to Robinson. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Nicely they continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Here's Tucker. Hits the three-point bomb. And the 76ers lead by 15. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now, here is Irving. From D. Walker. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this party. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise for T-shirt time. Your the Knicks the making the switch here. Quickly is checked in. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Emmanuel Quickly. Last quarter to play, about two minutes in now. Stolen by Harden. Now here's Tucker. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Burks. And he drives in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal. First team foul. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the 76ers? They really haven't backed away from running and gunning at any point. But their legs still look fresh. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. And, and that one's Maxie. good, Maxi. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Williamson. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. And that one's good, Durant. Durant. KD's got nine points now in just the second half. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Irving passes to Robinson. Williamson left side. Robinson down low, guarded by Harden. Here's Irving, and to get open is Robinson, and it comes off the front of the rim. Feeds it to Tucker. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. The three from Harden, another three Change for Philadelphia. Three points. A good look there, and he didn't waste it, his second three of the game. Here's Irving, not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Can't allow Irvin that look. He just can't give him that. He's too talented a player. 81. 60. Harden dishes to Durant. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. 
The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And it's Williamson missing. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Now here's Irving. The pass to Quickly. And Durant sends it back. KD's defense has really taken a huge step forward. I mean, excellent at blocking shots now, and he's a better help defender. Man, he's putting that reach to good use on the defensive end. Here's Tucker following the basket by Kyrie Irving. MB. Count that is his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Yeah, it's not a surprise then to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Remaining in the game. Two minutes. Maxi passes to Tucker. Fires from deep. Another three for Philadelphia. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help this team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Stolen by Robinson. And here is Quickly from downtown. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished Irving. now for That's Philadelphia. Person. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, so Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. We know familiarity breeds contempt. I would expect things to become more heated as these teams face each other going forward. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Joel Embiid. He came out and let everyone know that points would be hard to come by with the way he swatted away shots and protected the rim. KD can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And it's quickly missing. And Durant, here we go. And then Durant with the jam. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Here's Walker. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Good D by Embiid. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. The three. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Coming onto the floor for the Sixers, DeAndre Jordan, George Niang. Harden up top, quickly covering for three, Westbrook. And the 76ers get it back. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Down it goes. Nice George one there Niang. from Niang. So goal. many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. That's Work to find space game. behind the arc and then bury some threes. Thank you for coming out. So it's the 76ers team. winning this one easily. Take care to get home this safely, crowd was stunned we'll by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Defense. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Russell, congrats. How satisfying is this win? It's great. Um, you know, what we're supposed to do, we came in and competed at a high level defensively for the most part and uh, got the win. 
continue to keep it rolling, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.